Hey guys, William Murphy here. And in today's video, me and my little shadow, what are we going to do? Clover. This is Clover. What are we going to do? Yeah, fit the seats. <laughs> yeah, we're going to fit the seats. I know you don't love me like you say you do. Uh. Recently I went out and purchased some interior for this car, um, it was... Please do driving! Oh, you're, you're going to do driving, good. So the interior I bought uh, was very retro, very 70s, and uh, well quite frankly very cool. You probably can what's see it here already. What's in the box? 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 <laughs> Clover, do you like the seats? Very comfy? Very retro? Yep. Uh, what's the best mini you've ever been in? This one? No. Oh. Which one? This one's Rivers. Oh. You like Phoebe's daddy's car, don't you? Yeah. Mm. Right, let's get these seats installed. So the first step we're going to do is with the back seats in place and we're going to install the carpet and the underlay. So I've got the... Daddy, Daddy, you be careful! I've got the underlay that I had previously, that's all now in. Um, it's quite a good quality, it's quite thick. So uh, that's, that's going to go underneath. And then we're going to put in the Newton Commercials carpet, which is very lovely. So I opted for the biscuit coloured Newton Commercials carpet. So it's currently just on the roof. And uh, what I want to do first is cut these holes out, and therefore the seat belt plugs. Uh, it's nice quality, it's got a foam bottom with this quite thick uh, carpet on top. And I think it's going to be really, really nice in this car. So I'll just get a quick blade and cut around this nice and carefully around the circles. And then um, Put that in. That was extremely nerve wracking, so I've cut the two holes out. Looking from the inside, they are just a uh, little hole. So let's get this carpet now in. The My little helper's on the seat, and uh, yeah, I'll put the carpet in place. It should all slot in. Uh, the only thing to consider is if you've got the ashtray at the back, you can cut out the hole for the ashtray. I haven't, so I don't need that and it should just pop right over the top. Okay, so there we have it, the rear of the Newton Commercial Carpets. It fits absolutely lovely. There's a tiny gap here, but that can probably be stretched across. Um, the cut lines for the actual seat braces are spot on. The handbrake quadrant is molded, so that looks pretty good as well. The plugs for the Who are you calling? Ah, uh, okay. So the the holes here for the seat belts are all lined up, and uh, yeah, it's just a really, really nice, solid fit. I'm having a no shoe policy inside the uh, mini for now, and uh, yeah, next step is look at the front. Would you like to take the, uh, the first seat in the passenger seat? Try it out. <laughs> um? Did I? Yeah, I saw it. Would you like to try the seat out? We're still adopting the uh, new shoe policy. Well, what do you think? Not bad. Not bad. So yeah, Newton Commercial Carpet, it's uh, a lovely fit. There's one more piece to put across the centre section. I'm going to leave that off until after the MOT. I put the driver's seat in and then uh, we're done. But I have some very, very retro interior. 
I love it. And I think I even got a compliment from Amber. What's the verdict? Leave me glove box alone. And that now brings this video to an end. Um, it's always quite difficult when you're in the garage filming um, at all hours and um, you come to edit it and you realise you haven't done a, an opening scene or a closing scene or anything like that. So. This is the, the uh, video end. Um, the interior, I believe, is from a Mini HL. Now, I've not seen any others like that. I'm sure there are many around. The only one I've seen that's very similar, um, that's been more modernised, uh, a friend of mine, John Leak, or Leaky, he has uh, some in his car, and his car is stunning. Um, yeah, so he's got his, but he's got headrests in his. Um, similar style, um, like the lever down the sides and then the, the, of the check through the middle. They look really, really cool. Um, the carpet itself is from Newton Commercials. I've had that for a number of years, but I've been a little bit scared to, to install it really. Uh, historically, I've never had that garage space. I had a garage, a single garage, which was really difficult to get in and out in the Mini. Uh, the roof was leaking, every time it rained, the floor flooded, um, and I just didn't want to put the carpet in there walking into the garage, through the puddles, through the mud, through the whatever else is in there, standing in the car and ruining the carpet. So now I've got this new workspace. I'm trying to keep it as clean and tidy as possible. <laughs> and uh, inside the car, at the moment, I've got some driving shoes. So um, I've not quite gone the whole hog and had driving gloves, but uh, driving shoes are quite fun. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to be the MOT. And as we stand today, which is after the MOT, but before IMM still. The car is back into the garage because uh, they're doing some bodywork to it. So where I did the rear quarter, they're gonna paint that, and hopefully they're gonna get a chance to blow the uh, the outer seals in, and a bit of the rear quarter, and, and um, around the back behind the headlights, bro. I've, I've done some welding, I've filled it to the best of my abilities. Um, Alan's face, who's painting it, was a bit of a picture when I said, I've done the prep work, um, apparently it's not up to standard, so uh, he's gonna he's gonna do that as well. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that video here for now. Get this up. Tomorrow's video will be the MOT video, and then we're gonna leave it like that. And hopefully, uh, I will get the car back at the weekend, which will be tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, I get the car back tomorrow, and then I can get it finishing touches ready for IMM. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this content, please hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below, and if you can, subscribe to the channel. It's been a bit of a slapdash one, I'm afraid, again. Um, but it's really difficult to try and film on my own in, in the tight space of the Mini. But yeah, that's where we are. And um, IMM is about six days away. I'm bricking it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys there. Take it easy, and I'll see you soon.